Jai Sri Ram friends. Today we are going to see the importance of Kulbe. Every family in Sanatana Dharma has Kulbe. You know that, right? Kulbe, Kulbe, we, right? We all have it. But sometimes we lose touch. Isn't it? Because we moved out of the country, we moved out somewhere, uh, away from our native place and we lost touch. Now, it's very important for us to stay connected with our Kuldev. Okay? I remember my Kuldev is nine hours away from, by bus transport, from the place where we were living. Okay? And my mom, whenever I came to the country, whenever I came to the country, my mom will insist me to go to Kulde temple. And uh, I didn't uh, relate them. I'm going to say you where I learned the importance of Kulde. Okay? Because, uh, but my mom never gave up. She wanted me to go to the Kulde temple. Okay? And... Uh, I was going grudgingly. I used to say, I go to so many temples. Why go nine hours away for this one temple? And, uh, but see, Kuldev is our Kuldev. You understand that? It is like you meeting your chacha, daddy, your uh, mousy or uh, aunt, uncle or dad like that. There could be so many people in the town, but it is important that you go and meet your own people. Isn't it true? You cannot say that I met my next door neighbor, so why should I go and see my uncle? You are not going to say that. Same relationship is what we have with the Kulbe. And many times, many times, many families go through a lot of health challenges, financial challenges, marital challenges, and so many, so many things that robs their peace of mind. One solution for that is to go to your Kulbe temple. And uh, you believe me on that, when you go there, you will find the difference if you didn't go. At least once a year, you have to go to your Kuldev temple. Why it is so important? You know what? I was in Dwaraka, having darshan of Dwaraka Dish. Some things I learned from there is mind boggling Believe it will be for you too. And uh, there are multiple Dwarakas around the main Dwaraka. One of them is Mool Dwaraka. Okay? Mool Dwaraka is where the Shuji Mandir is, which was installed by Krishna when he moved to Dwaraka. The first thing he did was initiating Shuji and taking blessings of Shuji before going into Dwaraka. When they moved from Mathura to Dwaraka. Okay? And in Mool Dwaraka, very close to that Shuji temple, is a temple for Harshita Mata. When I was checking the history, when I was interviewing the people, the, the priests and uh, the people who know the Stalapuran of the temple and the history of the temple, you know, I came to know Harshita Mata is the Kuldevi of Bhagavan Krishna. Okay? Kuldevi of Bhagavan Krishna. When he moved from Mathura to Dwaraka after Jarasan fight, Okay, from when he was started calling us Rancho, right? When he moves there for peace, one of the first thing he did was brought up his Kuldevi with him. And he formed a temple for Harshita Mata in Muldwaraka itself. And the history of the temple goes that Krishna came there hundreds of times to Harshita Mata temple during his lifespan, okay? And it, is, it also says, whenever he had a problem, confusion, or any uh, worries in the heart, or anything that he is not able to decide, even for God these things happen, okay? Believe me on it. And whenever that happened for Krishna, okay? Krishna used to come to Harshita Mata temple and sit and meditate for clarity and peace. Think about it. Such an importance Krishna gave for his Kuldev. If Kuldevta is so important for Krishna, think about how about you and me. This is a clear example why it is very important for us to visit our Kuldev temple.
a Kuldevi temple. Okay, now one may ask that I moved a long time back, I don't have, I don't know what is my Kuldev, what do I do? Now if you don't know your Kuldev, one of the easiest way to do is to get in touch base with your uncles, aunts, whomever the older person who is alive, you know, pick up the phone right now and call them. And maybe you didn't talk to them for a long time, for whatever reason. Maybe this is a call for you from the God that they need to get a call from you now. Pick up the phone and call and ask them, who is our Kuldev? Many of this time, many of these old people will be able to guide you exactly what you, where you need to go. Okay, it's very important. And if that is not possible, many times what happens, you know, you may not have any old siblings left out still. Then what do you do? The second option could be finding out what is your native place. Most of the time, most of the time, the Gram Deva or Gram Devi who is there in the village happened to be the Kuldeva or Kuldevi of that family in those times. So by tracking your native place, you will be able to find the Kuldev and Kuldevi temple. And maybe you can go to your you never went to your native place maybe. Maybe it is a time for you to go there and meet some older people there and introduce yourself and ask them who is our Kuldev, do you know that? Many of these times this can bring a solution also. Now this is also not possible for whatever reason. Then the third option could be adopting one of your Ishta Devata. This is not the best option, okay, to be honest. This is not the best option. And number one and two are the best options. Okay? And once you find out the full name, don't keep it to yourself. Let your children know so that they don't struggle like you. Okay? And with your family, make a point to go there. And when you go there, do some dham. For not coming here, maybe you feed some brahmanas there, feed some poor people there, you know, it's not going to be very costly expense and uh, have a darshan of, uh, uh, you know, Kuldev or Kuldevi and ask for forgiveness for what, not coming and meeting and spend some time meditating. You will get the clarity. You will get the peace of mind. You will get the blessings abundantly. Some of these things could be the small things that could be a blessing blocker in your life that blocks the blessing that is supposed to come to you. Okay? So, you go one and two option are the best of the best. If that is absolutely not possible, then what do you do? Then you do a virad for your Ishta Dev or Ishta Devi. Okay? And say, I don't know my Kuldev, I don't know my Kuldevi. From today, I want you to be my Kuldev or Kuldevi. You know, this is not the best option, but you know. If you cannot do one and two, then this is the option you have. Go with your family to the temple and uh, do some dan. You know, see in our in in our Sanatana Dharam, two dans are premier. You should never stop yourself from doing it. One is Brahman dan and another is Godan or Go Seva, Dan for Go Seva. Very important, very important. That makes you dearer to Krishna. Okay, so do that in the temple. When you go to your Kuldev place, it's important for you to do these things. Okay, um, maybe for the Archakas, there are many of the time Kuldevs, Kuldevis are, uh, the Pujaris are not Brahmins. Many of the times you will find it. Okay, but no matter who it is, give some dan, give some dan, give some dan. They open the temple and keep it for us to come by the time when we come, isn't it? So respect that and with the love in the heart, Donate some money to them and uh, seek for their blessings and you will get it. Okay. And if you have any questions on this, make sure you join our one dharmic message a day, which we sent out every day in our WhatsApp club. Become a part of it by sending a message to us with your name and where you are from to plus one six four seven nine six four four seven nine zero. The video has our number in it. Okay, and if you have any questions regarding this, do feel free to contact us through WhatsApp. 
and we will be able to answer it to you. And also make sure to subscribe for our YouTube channel and click the notification bell so that you can stay connected. And as we post the videos, we post a lot of Dharmic videos and you will be informed as we post. And many of them could be very, very useful, very stories for your children, for us. You know, it's a very interesting channel. You will see already a lot of videos there. We do a lot of hard work, okay, to make sure our younger generation knows about our Dharma and what is the right thing to do. So please stay connected and feel free to contact us for any questions or clarifications. We are always here to service for you, okay? Your home and heart shall be abundantly filled with the joy and happiness. Make sure to visit your Kuldev temple, Kuldevi temple. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna.